Hi everyone. So you can probably see that I'm at a different location that I'm normally filming at. It is because I am bringing you along today for a special little project. I'm here at the office that I work at. Uh, I work for a community dental office here in my hometown. We're a nonprofit office, so we don't have a lot of extra money for fancy little addition things to add to the ambiance of our office. But I've been trying to pick up things that I find in places like Facebook Marketplace, thrift stores, things like that, that are just going to add some just some sprucing up to our office and just making it more homey and warm and inviting for our patients. Well, today I'm here to share with you a fireplace that I found on my local Facebook marketplace. I've had my eye open for quite some time. I'm only sad that I didn't find this before Christmas because it would have been so much more fun decorating for the holidays. But I want to show you how you can take something that's maybe looking a little you know, dated and maybe not something that's going to suit your decor, but you can just put some paint on it and it can be something really, really nice. Now I picked this up for $50 and I'm really excited to share with you what I found. So here it is. I actually went and picked it up last night and dropped it off here at the office. I couldn't wait to get back here this morning so I can update this piece. You guys, look at this. It's actually really nice. It's in really good shape and the actual fireplace works, which is awesome. That is what exactly what I was looking for because it does get pretty chilly here in our waiting area. So I'm just gonna show you here, it does work. So you can either have just the flames going if you don't wanna have the heater on or you can have the little heater as well. And it's got two different options here as far as how much wattage you're using. So that's actually perfect for us and we don't have to have it on full blast. And there's a little adjustment here that we can adjust the heat that comes out as well. So yeah, I'm so excited about this. Oh my goodness. Now this definitely screams, I don't know, 80s to me. The oak is not my style, but you know what? It actually doesn't look too bad in here because uh, we've already got oak on the floor and this picture that we had customized for our office here, it, there's just a lot of oak and things that kind of look kind of going on. And I just, I think a white fireplace will really pop in here and it'll be a great starting off point and focal point for decorating for the different holidays and seasons and things like that. I plan on getting rid of this table or maybe even painting it. And that little shelf up there used to have a little TV and VCR, which we got rid of quite some time ago. And so I just use it for decor uh, for Christmas and things like that. I think I might paint those shelves white if I have some paint left over. So let me show you the paint that I plan on using to update this little fireplace. So I just gathered up some supplies from home and this is what I plan on using. So I've had this paint at home for quite some time. I used it for a previous project. So this is actually some really decent paint. I really like working with this stuff. Very little prep is required. All I'm gonna do is just make sure that my piece is clean and I'm gonna just use a little bit of sandpaper to kind of roughen up the surface um, so that the paint will stick really well and then I'll be able to get going. Uh, so I plan on using this chalked uh, linen white from Rust-Oleum. Probably need a couple of coats of that at least. And then I'm going to be protecting that paint with this, uh, hang on, let's get to the English here matte clear uh, chalked as well from Astolium and that should make it nice and durable and that's exactly what we're going to need here for the office. I also brought just a few different types of sandpaper. I'm not sure what grit I'm going to need so that I can kind of tape off where the fireplace part is so I don't get any paint on that. I've got a few paint brushes, some stir sticks, I got a little sanding block here and this little tub I just brought so I can put a little bit um, of dishwashing liquid. I won't need very much in some hot water. And then I'm just gonna give this whole piece a really good wipe down just to make sure it's super clean, that there's no grease or anything on it. So that make sure again, that my paint will have the best chance of adhering really well. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I just put literally one or two drops of dishwashing liquid into some nice warm water. And I'm just gonna give this a really good clean, like I said, it's actually not very dirty at all. So this isn't gonna take me too long, I don't think. I'm just gonna go around and just make sure everything is super clean. And then we'll get it nice and dry, and then we'll be able to give it a good sand. So my fireplace is now nice and clean and dry. Uh, I've taken all the moisture off of it. Next up, we're gonna do a little sanding. So I've just got my little sanding block and I just put a piece of sandpaper over top. I've got 150 grit here. It feels nice and rough here. So all I wanna do is just like I say, just roughen up the surface cause it's very smooth right now. 
um, so that my paint will definitely stick to it. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this and just give it a good go over with the sandpaper and just get this glossy kind of finish off of it. My fireplace is all cleaned, sanded, and I wiped all the dust off. Next thing I want to do is take some of this green painter's tape and I'm just going to tape off where the fireplace part is because I don't want to get any of my white paint on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and protect that. This won't take long at all. And I'm using the wide stuff just because then I get even more protection that way. All right, so I now have my piece completely ready to start painting. I actually just kind of covered up the glass area here too because I did not want a chance getting any paint splattered on that. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put one thin coat of my chalk paint on and uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably gonna need at least two coats. So here we go. All right, it's gonna go from oak to white. No turning back now. So this is going on nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna carry on here and the next time you see this fireplace, it'll be all finished. So here is the reveal, you guys. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be more happy or proud of the way this all turned out. I can't wait to show my coworkers and I can't wait for our patients to come in here now. It feels so much warmer and so much more inviting and I think they're going to really enjoy this space while they're waiting for their appointments. I can't get over how just a little bit of paint can transform something and make it look completely different. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are inspired. Look at your Facebook marketplace, even go thrifting, uh, garage sales, you name it. You can find these amazing deals for next to nothing. Bring them home, clean them up, paint them, and you can use them in your own space or you could even flip them and make a little bit of money on the side. This little lamp I had sitting at home and I knew it would look really awesome in here, or I hoped it would anyways, and it does. We weren't using it, so... It has a new home now too. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I know this is very different from the type of content I usually post here on my YouTube channel. I would love to hear if you have refinished any types of furniture yourself and what kind of paint you actually use. I was really, really impressed with the Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I did have to put three coats on, but I think it just turned out so, so well. So until next time, I hope you guys are all doing great and I'll catch you again on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.